This is the Tokyo Bar 23 sneaker channel. Tokyo Bar 23 no sneaker channel days. I bring you daily content every single day. I'm here, trustworthy, absolutely guaranteed content. Even though I have a full time job, even though I have a one year old next door who's absolutely the apple of my eye and I'd love to be playing with her, I still get in here and give you this daily sneaker content. And today I'm absolutely pumped to bring you the Nike Air Max 180 Berlins. As I said in the introduction today, it's all about the Nike Air Max 180 Berlins and they're an absolute banging sneaker. Now tomorrow I'm going to be bringing you the total opposite of this sneaker. The Nike Air Max 180 Berlins are just, uh, they're just flashy and bright and kind of, oh, I mean, they get the, the blood pumping. Uh, but then tomorrow it's an Air Jordan 3, which has got everybody's pulse sort of slowing down, if anything, especially with some of the things that they've done, like removable swooshes and things like that. So... Uh, but I'll leave that to tomorrow, the Air Jordan 3s uh, that are coming with their removable swooshes. I mean, the Air Jordan 3s having swooshes at all is, is enough, but removable ones at that. And, and one of them's elephant print. It's like, oh my God. Uh, but anyway, enough. Uh, stay away from that right now. I'm going to stick with the, the positive hype, shall we say, of these Air Max 180 Berlin, because I'm absolutely in love with these. They're phenomenal looking. Uh, they take me right back to high school. Uh, these were my first... Uh, sneaker envy shoes uh, the first shoes out there that when somebody wore them to school and I saw them and I was just like no way what are they and I'm just I wasn't a rich kid and I'm not a rich uh, adult so uh, and getting your hands on sneakers then and now is as hard as it possibly can be for for somebody without the cash to do it um, and but that's why I had sneaker envy with these guys and it was a couple of years later in 93 with the 270s that came out in 93 when I got my first nice pair of sneakers and perhaps was sneaker envied instead of sneaker envying uh, but these were my first sneakers to envy. I absolutely loved the 180s. I thought they were just amazing. I was like, wow, like that sole, the way the sole, you know, the, the air unit that's usually encased is actually flush to the outsole and touching the, the ground. I was just amazed by these sneakers. Uh, and these themselves are a phenomenal looking colorway. Think back to the 80s or 90s if you, you know or can research when we used to wear these fluorescent pink and fluorescent yellow tubey socks things that were kind of fluffy. It's like that. It's a hark back to the era of the days of those bright flashy colors colors that used to be on everything especially those socks that we used to wear so it's taken me right back it's given me a real sort of nostalgia bump and boost and uh, hit uh, for these guys and I'm just loving the look of them and loving bringing you a review about them today so without further ado let's actually have a look at them uh, the first thing to look at is that sort of solid white color it's mostly a white sneaker there are hits of color throughout uh, but that mostly white upper is a mesh material and what you get when you really look at it is it looks through to a second layer layer of more fluorescent yellow so you're going back to those colors from the 80s and 90s that I was talking about so that upper with its mesh uh, looking through to a second layer of fluorescent yellow is the first thing to look at and then if you follow up and go up across the sneaker to the lacing system you can see that that fluorescent yellow is actually coming in there from the tongue which because it's not covered by mesh it really does pop on there and I think I'm right in saying at the top of the tongue instead of Nike Air branding or anything like that it says 180 in big lettering at the top of the tongue to really reinforce the Air Max 180 look. Uh, and then if we come back a bit and down a bit, you've got the swooshes on the sides, which on both the lateral and the medial sides are black, very simple on that white sort of upper because you've left behind the mesh so you don't have that look through to the uh, fluorescent yellow that you do in the forefoot, the front of the half of the sneaker. You've just got that white with the black swoosh on it, which looks really, really great. And then the heel counter is that pop in pink and it's that yellow and pink kind of playing off against each other that I really like and really takes me back to the early 90s when I was in high school really phenomenal looking upper to the sneaker but the real deal actually no thinking about it when we look at the back of the sneaker on the heel there's a, the pink heel counter of course but then you've got a uh, Nike Air on the back as a branding but also uh, 180 in there as well which I think is a really cool feature uh, to have on the back there so you've got the 180 on the tongue and the 180 on the, the heel as well so it really goes well to balance the, the top half of the shoe but then like I said getting into the bottom uh, on the outsole there's three really popping features one is 
is the 180 imprint on there already, but that is overshadowed by a mile by the air unit, that exposed air unit, the 180 degree air unit, side to side across the whole width of the heel section. Uh, so just in now, uh, let's go for two centimeters in from the heel itself. So it isn't a 270 uh, and it really, really looks good. A real popping uh, air unit there with the colors throughout it. Um, but that's not my favorite feature on this uh, outsole. I thought it would be and one of the things that really got my blood pumping was the front half of the outsole, which is a translucent uh, outsole. So you've got the fully translucent air unit that's completely see-through, but then on the front where the outsole would be just a thin outsole, usually just black rubber, is uh, translucent and it looks, and it's totally clear. It's not like a, a deep, dark translucence, isn't it? It's totally clear and it looks through to the word freedom. And I think that's a phenomenal touch. We're talking Berlin, we're talking 1991 when these sneakers dropped for the first time uh, and when the, the Berlin Wall was falling and the East meets West and f you know the freedom that came from all of that and the, the collapse of the Soviet Union and what that did for Eastern Europe and stuff like that so um, so having that translucent outsole looking through to the word freedom really tops off the sneaker as a, as a, a nod a tip of the hat to 1991 when Tokyo Butter 23 was in high school and was having sneaker envy for the very very first time it's an absolutely banging sneaker I wouldn't normally go after a 180 for sure uh, they wouldn't really you know I wouldn't have any interest in trying to pick up a pair but these guys absolutely I'll be trying to pick these up when they drop they're a phenomenal looking sneaker and a brilliant bit of work there a brilliant bit of work from the Nike brand and the uh, Air Max line and that's about uh, enough for me today that's the last thing I'm going to do is to point to tomorrow's video which is the Air Jordan 3 Tinker University Red, I think they're calling it. Um, and I'm not, uh, University Red seems to be on every sneaker these days. We had the Air Jordan 1's University Reds, which were called Phantom before, but they were calling them University Reds. There were University Red 33's, Jordan 33's that dropped recently as well. Uh, and here we have these threes. Uh, to me, I don't know why they're calling them University Red. Maybe they've, they've got bored and run out of names, lacking imagination or something. Uh, but that's the sneaker tomorrow is the Air Jordan 3 University Red, um, Tinker University Red, University Red, uh, with that removable swoosh that I'll be bringing you. So definitely uh, hit me up for some content tomorrow uh, again thank you for checking me out today I do really appreciate it and as I do say all the time I bring you daily content so I definitely will see you tomorrow